All right, round three, we've got the choice again. I'm going to play first, and yeah, that is a pretty sexy looking keep right there. At worst, we get to go Dramoka Warrior into Sandcrafter Mage. At best, we get to go Dramoka Warrior into Light Form into Sandcrafter Mage. Although, I guess, no, I probably would still do that. It would end up costing me a damage because I would deal one less with Dramoka Warrior, but it would also net me a 2 2 Flying Lifelink, so there is that. Alright, this actually works out pretty beautifully for us. Alright. So he gets a 2-2, two -two, but still think it's pretty good. Hmm. Grixis? All right. I think better that than my light form. And I'm not going to cast Scale Blessing to protect my Sandcrafter Mage. I'm just going to Offer the trade. So basically, I end up trading a Sultai Emissary in Dowson. Well, it looks like he's not interested. So maybe it is a good manifest under there, but let's go Light Form. Ideally, into Scale Blessing. And we did actually get a creature of substance underneath there, so it may actually be in my best interest to hold off on that Scale Blessing and flip this Quartermaster ASAP. Or not. So I guess next turn we just swing. If he blocks this time, we can scale Blessing as a combat trick and end up with a 4-4. But it looks like he's not going to, so we'll see what we do instead. All right, I guess we're just going to play a couple creatures instead. Ooh, alright. So we're playing against the the removal deck. Alright, let's just swing Sandcrafter Mage. Guess I should have played Forest in case he's got Mind Rot. Block the Manifest.
Hmm. All right. Time to bust it, sadly. It's not what I want to do. All right. It's unfortunate, but... We have a lot of good top decks. Actually, it's probably wiser to block that, just in case this is some beefy manifest that kills my cleric. All right, there's a good one. That's a good one. I guess he gets to just block and regenerate. Hey! <laughs> that one's actually kind of nice. So now I can start swinging with some dudes. Because I think his block is Skeleton on Raptor. So this is actually kind of good. Put the Servant out just in case Shield Bear for some reason can put a counter on it. But we get to swing with these three now. Which is actually kind of nice. Like I said, I think Skeleton likely goes on the Raptor. I don't want to flip these up. I kind of want to keep it a surprise. I feel like he's got something anyway. Hmm. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, Grave Crawler's a good one for him. Coat with Venom. All right.
Ooh. That's a pretty beefy one. Guess I should have done that post-combat. Because end of turn when it goes off anyway. Would have made a lot more sense. But that's okay. Guess I can actually do Servant too, but no, we'll leave Servant back for bolstering. Alright, that one's fine. Guess we'll buff the servant. Could have dealt one extra damage to him, but I'm not sure how relevant that is. Wow. All right. Probably the general sacking a zombie. Maybe second. No, probably Zach. Second zombie killed the general. It's probably my my guess. Looks like he accidentally targeted itself. Okay, so he wants to tail slash, wait a second. Let's let that resolve. And this did target that, okay. Why did that, I feel like that was delayed. Um... So I guess technically I can sack this. I don't think it does anything, though. It's pre-combat, though, so I guess it could. It's not bad. All right. Let's get in with I'm hoping Grave Crawler goes for this one. That would of course be ideal.
Or he could just die here. Wow. That's crazy. All right. So we're playing against... Uh, we don't know what his blue splash is yet. He's got some real good uh, exploit creatures. But he's not beat down. He's removal dot deck. So uh, clerics come out versus removal dot deck. And I think we just bring in more beef. Like conifer strider seems a lot better versus removal. Although he does have a lot of ground guys. But I've got pumps too. Um, I think formless nurturing gets better. We didn't see any flyers. So, let's try this out. Basically just get rid of stuff that gains us life, bring in guys that are beefier. I like that. Do I want Lotus Eye Mystics? Because he's got Exploit, which means I might be able to get Pacifism and Lifeform back. You know what? I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cut... I uh... kind of feel like cutting Scale Blessing for it. Is that wrong? Basically, I'm playing Lotus Eye Mystics as a Gravedigger effect for a light form. It, you know, it's it's not as bad as you might think. Could cut like a Student of Ojitai instead. I mean... I could actually cut the Conifer Strider. It's a, it does have Hexproof, which is good, but like I said, he's got a lot of ground guys. But if I guess if I'm keeping Scale Blessing, maybe I can cut the Student of Ojitai. Try and get some extra value. All right, I convinced myself. Um, yeah, this looks good, actually. Alright, looks like we're on the Glade Watcher into Sandstorm Charger into Conifer Strider plan. See how that works out for us. I suppose I can do Classodon Yearling next turn instead of the Sandstorm Charger. If I want to wait a little bit on that. Alright. I think we're actually going to play Yearling now. That's interesting. Jamoka Warrior lets me go morph plus activate and attack next turn, but I think with the sheer quantity of removal I know my opponent's deck has, I'm just going to drop Yearling and pass. Next turn, drop the, the Strider. I think if he attacks... I almost want to double block... But, yeah, I think I probably do. Like, what that does is it does offer a Glade Watcher for him. But in my mind, if he's willing to attack into this, I think it's in my best interest to double block. Because otherwise, it's like, it's clear he's got something. He wouldn't just throw a Berserker into a Yearling. So I think I'm going to go... No, that didn't do it in the order I want. I want him I want to make him move the No. Why would you do the blocking order like that? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why is it not putting the yearling in front? Someone got an answer for that? That's weird. 
So wait a second. If I go like this and this, it puts the yearling behind. If I go like this and this, it puts the yearling behind. What? Why would it do that? That is... okay. All right, two for two. Not the best two for two, not the worst. I'll accept it. Oh, the next spell he casts, that turn costs one less. That's interesting. So it didn't actually... So we did end up actually taking away the effect of that. That's actually, that's interesting. Um, can I actually play Conifer Strider here? You can't target it. Like, I know he controls the blocking order, but why wouldn't it let me place my cards in the order that I want, you know? Does that make sense? Am I making any sense here? <laughs> or does that not make sense? Um, surprise, he didn't attack into it. He must want to keep that morph. Let's go, uh, let's go Charger, actually, plus Dramoka Warrior here. Could be setting myself up for the old Minister of Pain, but we'll see. All right, so I have to imagine he's got a reach of shadows or something. Five mana, unmorph. I think we'll just swing with both. I'm not in a big hurry to cast either of these spells, so this seems okay. I think he's likely got Reach of Shadows. And even if he does like offer the trade with the Skirmisher for my morph, I'm not going to... I'm going to unmorph it. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm going to force him to cast... Reach of Shadows here. Although I might trade a morph for a morph. That's interesting. I think I'll... Yeah. I'm going to trade a morph for a morph here. Okay. He's got a Reach of Shadows. I think he's just going to untap and, and cast it, which is fine. Hmm.
Interesting. That's also interesting. Um, guess we go shield bearer. Getting close to being able to go shield bear plus scale blessing. I definitely want to do that on my conifer strider. I think we'll just pass here. I could attack into a river skeleton, but I don't actually think it's all that good. All right. Don't know what that is. Okay. One card left. Not too concerned about that. Did get a land, so technically I'm still one short of doing everything I want. And he can still regen, so I guess we just chill out for another turn here. I want to beef up our hexproof guy. Crotique. Guess that's another guy I can do some threatening stuff with eventually. Let's just build up our board for now. I've also got scale blessing. So I can put, put this to three. He has seven mana though, and I don't know what that morph is yet. Although, uh eh. Yeah, I don't know what the morph is yet. I think we chill a little bit longer here. I can get even more scale blessing value soon here. I think he's likely going to unmorph that, and I kind of want to know what it is. Okay. First Strike Dragon would have been a problem, so... No problems there. I think I actually do end of turn scale blessing. I mean, I actually have to put some pressure on him now. Because I want to be able to unmorph this too. And I want to be able to swing with Conifer Strider. Although it's only a 7-3. Which I guess isn't that great, but I'm still going to do it. Ooh, that's a good one. So let's say I swing with these three, and then just drop a Whisperwood. I think I'm doing that. He's got removal, he'll bust it here instead of on my Whisperwood, I think. I kind of want to preserve my Conifer Strider. Because I feel like Skeleton plus Goblin on Strider isn't worth losing my guy over. Whereas, losing that... Yeah, like, this seems a lot more attractive to me. Admittedly, it's not great, but it clears up a bunch of fodder. And he might use a removal spell on this. If he has it. Looks like he doesn't have it.
Wow. I'm actually pretty surprised he saved it. You got to admit, it, it must have been pretty tempting for him there to uh, use Reach of Shadows on a 5-6. I'm pretty surprised he didn't. That's a pretty good one. I think I swing with these three. This is a bit dangerous. I still don't want to trade a conifer strider for a heel cutter. Hmm. I think I just make this trade. I could beef my guy up here. I'm trying to think what kind of removal spell he'd have. Another reach? Guess we'll find out. All right. All right. Well, got the victory. Our deck was insane. So made a bunch of tickets. And uh, we're going to do an 8-4 in our next draft. So hope you dug it. Yeah, this deck was a lot of fun. And it was crazy good. So... Uh, all right, we'll see you for the next draft, the 8-4.